Okay, I will call the public works meeting to order. Uh, with a quick roll call. Alderperson Decker is here. Uh, Alderperson Salazar. Here. Alderperson Ramey. Here. Alderperson Rusk. Here. And Alderperson Perella is no longer on the so we'll, we'll start out with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, this is Joyce here. Do you know everyone? So otherwise, we can. Oh, I know David. Okay. I don't know if I met you yet. My name is Tim. Okay. Well, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the introduction. Yeah. I'm the uh, city forester. Thank you, EW. My goal is facilities and traffic superintendent. Yeah. Oh, Joel Colsey. Yes. <laughs> everyone just. Yeah. You, you, Joel Colsey is our new superintendent of streets and sanitation. Jason. He, he took over from Jason Blaziola since Jason left. Okay. Jason, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In May. April. Okay. Yeah. April. I'm April. Okay. There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I guess just, uh, just, uh, just yeah. Joel. Joel is actually a returnee. Yep. Joe was actually the superintendent of Street. This is 2.0. Yeah. 2.0. <laughs> <point eight. laughs> Before Jason. So Joel left. He had an opportunity to go to the Milwaukee area where he worked prior to this a little bit as well in the village of Sherwood. Uh, but he, prior to that, he worked here for about three, three years in the city with us as our superintendent. He left. And when he left, Jason came on. Now, Jason, they kind of what they were doing is they were doing the reverse commute. Joel's always lived in Sheboygan, but he commuted to Milwaukee for work. Jason lived in Milwaukee and commuted up. Well, now they figured out with uh, gas prices, and it, <laughs> it might make sense to work <laughs> with <laughs> each other in your own area. <laughs> so it's really good to have Joel back because he has history. He's got the uh, knowledge of staff and uh, welcome to our team again. So Thank you. Excited, excited to be back. Well, then we'll introduce ourselves so that we know who we're here. I'm, yes, I'm Dean Decker, and I'll uh, listen from District 6 and the chair of the committee. I'm Alder Russ, I'm District 8 and vice chair of the committee. Um, I am Alder Bristol Amanda Salazar, District 3. Alder Majun, I am in 10th District. And I'm Alder Chris and Angela Ramey, and I'm District 5. All righty. Then we'll start with uh, approval of minutes from August 23rd. I move. Second. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Motion made and seconded. Yes. Any discussion on those minutes? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Those are approved. I move for discussion number six, resolution 62-22-23, September 6, 2022. Resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute agreements with Pickles Nursery Incorporated and Chest Bridge Nursery Incorporated for the purchase of 720 street trees. Tim, I imagine yes. this is yours. Yep, so we put it out for bid. We want 720 trees delivered in the spring of 2023. We're going to plant approximately 320 of those right away, and 400 of those are going to be placed in our gravel bed, which is in the, directly north of this building, and those will be planted in the fall of 2023. So we pay for one delivery and they all come at once and then uh, then we have the trees and we plant them all season. And the, the two uh, different nurseries kind of were bidding against each other and we we wanted certain species and they wanted them a certain size. So we don't want to plant anything too small and we, and we want to plant certain species because they allow for different growth patterns. Mm -hmm. So the, the way it worked out was roughly about half half and half. I mean, one is like 28,000, one is 32,000 from each. And it's just the way it, it, it fell with as far as what they bid and the species they, some of them, you know, had alternates mm -hmm. species, which maybe weren't as desirable, or some of the alternates might've been a size smaller, which weren't desirable. So I picked the the best ones that would meet our needs the best. And, and in that also the cheapest across the line. So that's what we ended up with. A uh, couple quick questions I have for it. Uh, is that about the maximum that you can put in that bed? Is that, that, that amount of trees? The gravel bed will hold more. Okay. But uh, we have 350 in there now this this season. Okay. And we're going to be planting those this this fall, and I think that's 
that's going to be a lot for us to, okay. to be able to handle. Now we're going to we're going to up it. We're going to go to 400 next year. So I'm confident we're going to get it done. But uh, I don't I I won't be confident doing even more than that just yet until we get a feel for the 350. We'll get a three feel for the 400. Okay. It will hold I think up to 550 and maybe potentially even more if we there's a there's a route through the middle where you can drive through okay. and potentially you could close that up and only get from one way but and fit more trees but it's not something i really want to do unless down the road it, it serves a purpose and then my question is are the trees are so native to our area or are we just getting trees that are specific for the growth of the space that you need them in the some of the trees are native some are not it's it's it's, it's hard to plant all native trees when you're dealing with the urban environment okay. so most of these trees are they're all they all grow in zone five or in zone five in sheboygan so they're coming from new york a zone five area mm -hmm. and they're planting them here but they're they're not all native no it's okay. not it's not something i like percentage wise what do you think it is um, i would say it's roughly half maybe okay uh, the, you know some of these are varieties where you know, you, you got a sugar maple that's native, but then if you have a variety of sugar maple, is it is it, is technically, it technically native? Yeah, you, yeah. you kind of it gets kind of weird going down that route. Sure. But uh, if you, if you count those varieties, I would I would estimate about half. Okay, great. Makes sense. And some of the reasons to also vary we're measuring for bug resistance and stuff like that too. Yeah, urban tolerance. You got resistance for bugs, disease, mm -hmm. and just diversity in general. We don't want to plant all maples because we have so many of them. We don't want to sure. plant. Many, we don't want many plant many more lindens because we have too many of them so we want to diversify with other stuff and and a lot of these places where trees are being replaced it's a small parkway like five feet or less sidewalks have been lifted many times so we're we're putting a lot of trees that don't get as big as the, the previous trees they might only get 30 40 feet tall but that's going to allow that sidewalk not to lift so much so more of the right tree in the right spot Joe, sure. mm -hmm. you, Chairman. Okay, now the reason why we're going to New York to get trees to plant in Wisconsin, there was nobody in Wisconsin we could get these trees from. Uh, the, there was one or two vendors that bid on the on the on the bids for for our RFP, mm -hmm. but they were more expensive. Um, they the the two nurseries in in New York are very competitively priced. They they're huge. Okay. And they they deliver. These are bare root trees, so they they come with no dirt or soil with them, no container. They're just the bare roots. So only certain nurseries do that. Many nurseries in the state do it like potted or bald and burlap, mm -hmm. but only a few do bare roots. So there's a couple in the state that that did put bids out for us, but they're they're not large enough to be able to give us what we wanted. Like Bailey's, they offered a lot of things, but they were all one inch instead of one and a half inch. Okay. Obviously they were cheaper, but we don't want to plant one inch trees on the street. And uh, Leaves Inspired was another one. They have inch and a half trees. They have two inch trees, but they're a smaller nursery, so they couldn't give us the quantity that we wanted. You know, I wanted 50 scarlet oaks. They they only could give us you know 15, and then they were giving us sub you know substitutes. So and and all these are guaranteed. Uh, there's we're not paying for a guarantee. Extra the the trees are guaranteed to get here alive and. We've ordered from Schichtels in the past, and we had very good success. Very, very few that haven't done well. I mean, in the past, like this year, we had delivered from Schichtels. There was three that were damaged on shipment, and they they gave us a credit back for those. They they gave us our money back for the, the damaged ones. Oh. So if they show up damaged, we get we don't have to pay for them. As far as a guarantee that they're going to survive, we don't, we're not paying for that. They're not offering that, but we're getting them at such a nice rate that. It wouldn't make sense, in my opinion, to to go to a nursery that that would allow us to do that because we'd be paying so much more. So we're not the only we're not the only community in Wisconsin that uses these people. No, most communities do. We're seeing uh, Cedarburg, um, to name a few. Those are just I know they were on the same shipment of the truck that this year that came in. A lot of Milwaukee buys some trees from them. A lot of people do. I know uh, Stevens Point gets theirs from there too. It's pretty. Uh, Pretty well known. Thank you. Any other questions? Hey, anyone want to entertain a motion? I move. I'll second. Motion is made and seconded. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Chair votes aye. 
That is approved. Uh, seeing as we have exhausted the agenda, the next meeting date is to September 27th, 2022. I will not be here. So Zach, you are in charge. And I will then entertain a motion. I move to adjourn. Second. <laughs> Motion is seconded. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? We are adjourned. Great.